Hello, I'm Vincent Holvoet, Product Manager at Wolf, and today I'm very excited to introduce you the new ZK4 SE Harvester. The ZK4 SE is characterized by its great capacity, its optimal stability, and a great um, maneuverability. It's a second generation of this machine concept, enabling us to answer new market demands and needs. So what's brand new? We have extended the range of cleaning options. So from now on, you can add up to two cleaning modules. Harvesting at narrow row distances is now also possible. So less than 40 centimeters. And as third, unloading on the move has never been so easy thanks to the new elevator. Besides that, we have added a few more features that I will present you right now. Let's start with a presentation of the heart of the machine, the top lifting element. So the ZK4 SE is equipped with 12.65 meter long super grip profile harvesting belts. The hydraulic torpedoes in the front are mounted on bearings, so bearings in the front, bearing in the back. The flat design avoids that uh, holes can get around the motor. In standard, the ZK4 SE is equipped with the ADC, so an automatic depth control. This consists in this kit and an integrated and well-protected sensor. The depth adjustment is done from the cab and this will ensure the perfect following of your ridges or beds. So the top lifting element is also equipped standard with automatic steering. We are working with a set of two sensors. So the first set of sensors is steering the back wheel. This ensures the gross positioning of the machine. The second set of sensor is steering the side shift. So we allow the movement of the top lifting elements from 10 centimeters. More exactly, that's five centimeter left, five centimeter right. Optionally, we can make the shear to move with the top lifting element. GPS steering has also been foreseen. In that case, the GPS will steer the back wheel while the sensors here will still steer the side shift. Another characteristic of the DeWolf top lifting element is the double, so the ball-sided tensioning system on the rollers. The ball-sided tension ensures a higher pressure on the belts, which uh, makes it easier to harvest in very poor conditions where a lot of soil can still hang on the carrots. Another gripping option is the manual quick release system. Via this lever, I can release the tension on all the rollers from here. This makes it easier to change the harvesting belts. This machine is equipped with two cleaners, equipped with 15 pins. We have another variant with 44 and longer pins if extra cleaning capacity is needed. The cleaners are adjustable from the cam. To discover the back part of the top lifting element, where we have added a few new features to imp uh, improve the working of the machine, I will invite you to follow me on the platform. The cutter set is powered by a maintenance-free gearbox, sealed off and filled with grease. We drive it with one solid motor. We do prefer that to two small ones, to avoid that the first one is working against the second one. There are a few more things that we have changed here in the back. As a start, we have modified the design of the rotary cleaners. By having another position of the rubber flaps, we can guarantee a longer cleaning without readjustments. The drive pulleys have been completely filled. This makes sure that holes do not get inside and turn around. This will increase the lifetime of the bearings. The pulley uh, drive shaft bearing hose is now boltable, so it's easier to dismount it for maintenance reasons. Another interesting option is the sensor. The sensor will detect if the belt falls off. Does not matter if it's in the front of the top lifting element or in the back. Tensioning cylinder will be pushed till this end. The sensor will detect it, advise the driver and stop the harvesting belts. As an extra, we added some more uh, tensioning pulleys just on top of the cutting bar. And in general, as you can see, it's quite accessible. It's easy for maintenance, easy for adjustments. If you need to adjust uh, the cutting bars, this full belt can be moved up and then you can easily access them. The cutting set has also been completely renewed. In the past, we were offering two variants. The flat cutting bars were made for the highest capacity, the quickest cut. The round bars were made for the highest respect of the product, so to avoid any scratches or damage to the product. With this new generation cutting bars, we try to combine both characteristics, so the quickest cut ever with the highest respect for the product. There are two reasons for which the Wolf can state this new cutting bar will last longer. The first one is the material. 
the, these cutting bars are made of, ensuring an extremely high resistance to wear. The second reason is that the cutting set is reversible. So if the front part of your cutting, set, the cutting bars are worn out, you can effortlessly revert it and start wearing another zone of your cutting set. So now that we have cut the leaves, the leaf will be transported via this belt on a full width till the end in the front of the back wheel and they will be evenly spread over the field. Now I'm happy to explain you how we will transport the product from the cutting bars till the um, elevator and for that I will invite you to follow me down. So now that we have cut the leaves, the Wolf can offer three different configurations to bring the product from the cutter set to the elevator. All are 2.4 meter wide. The first configuration is a configuration for no extra cleaning. The product will then be transported directly into the elevator. The second configuration is this machine. So let's open the covers to discover what we have here behind. So we start with a long conveyor which is equipped with an agitator that we can see here. It goes to there and then we go to the hedging belt. The hedging belt has also its own agitator. The advantage of a long sieving web is to avoid extra drops before the product arrives to the hedging belt. Let's now have a look at the Supreme Cleaning variant. This is this machine on the left hand side. In this third configuration, we can add an extra cleaning system before the hedging belt. So here we have a flex star. This is a star cleaning module where the distance between the shafts is adjustable from the cab to adapt the cleaning to the conditions. After the flex star, we have a sealing conveyor. This one brings the product up to the hedging belt. For customers that do not want extra cleaning capacity, this full module can be easily exchanged. So we count on two people and a forklift to change it, to change a full module for a sieving web module. I propose to show you how. So after the cleaning, the, per the product is perfectly distributed thanks to three different webs with different lengths into this wide elevator. This one is 1.5 meter wide. Another interesting option we added into the construction of this elevator is the hydraulically extendable elevator top. The elevator top can be retracted or made longer to facilitate a gentle unloading. When unloading into trucks, this option will help to unload deeper for maximum product gentleness. When unloading in boxes, this will help to switch between two row boxes from left to right. The elevator is mounted with active sidewalls. This is to avoid product scratches when the product could slide against the sides. In this configuration, we have a configuration with rubber studs. This is made for more elongated products. This will maximize the capacity of the elevator. It will also allow it to run at slower speed. In case the customer has more Round, product, round shaped product will still offer the full slides. 
This elevator can also be remotely controlled so that the tractor driving besides the machine can control the elevator. This helps the driver of the harvester to focus on his harvesting parameters. If we go to the back of the machine, we have the engine compartment. So we have here a Scania engine, six cylinder, 450 horsepower. It's available in stage five as in tier four. We have looked for an overdimensioned hydraulic cooling to be able to work under the highest temperatures. The engine drives at low refs so that we can minimize fuel consumption. The whole compartment is easily, easily accessible to change filters and do the daily maintenance. We are here in a new class X11 cab. This is the high-end version with leather seats, active ventilation. From here, we have a perfect view on a pickup. The high-end version is also equipped with a turnable seat, which makes it easier to look at the elevator, facilitate loading. This cab has 14 cameras, touchscreen cameras, so we can easily have a look at what's happening inside the machine. Thanks to the ergonomically designed joystick, your hand lies perfectly horizontally. Furthermore, all the buttons are easily reachable by the thumb. The harvester's operator terminal is a completely new. This large, well-organized display is a full touchscreen. It has been specifically developed for this harvester in-house and is a further development of the user-friendly interface that you can expect from a DeWolf harvester. Thank you for discovering this new ZK4 SE harvester with me. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to contact your local dealer or the Wolf sales rep. Thank you.